Bestbookbits.com brings to you five minute books. Today we will be reviewing The Magic of Believing by Claude M. Bristol. On with the summary. If you want to be great, you must walk with people who are great. In every area of life, there are winners and losers. What makes a difference can be summarized in one word believe. The more you believe in yourself, the greater will be your achievements. Belief is the motivating force that enables you to achieve your goal. The secret of success lies not without, but within, the thoughts of man. By a full and powerful imagination, anything can be brought into concrete form. This free summary is made possible by my elite personal evolution coaching program. Become the CEO of your life instead of the worker bee. Work with me privately over 12 weeks while we deep dive into an immersive, life-changing personal evolution coaching program. Connect with me now over Zoom for 15 minutes using the calendar link or directly email me at bestbookbits at gmail.com with the headline personal evolution. Stop doing goals by yourself. Stop having the same year after year and step into your next evolution now. On with the summary. Hard work alone will not bring success. The world is filled with people who have worked hard but have little to show for it. Something more than hard work is necessary. It is creative thinking and the firm belief in your ability to execute your ideas. The successful people in history have succeeded through their thinking. Their hands were merely helpers to their brains. One essential to success is that your desire be an all-encompassing one. Your thoughts and aims be coordinated and your energy be concentrated and applied without let up. It is vital that you know exactly what you want out of life. You must know where you are headed and you must keep a fixed goal in view. You must have a fixed idea before you obtain what you're after. Without an all-consuming desire, nothing can be gained. Thought attracts that upon which it is directed. The most effective method of bringing the subconscious into practical actions is through the process of making mental pictures. Most of the sustained and continuing manifestations come as a result of belief. It is through this belief with its strange power that miracles happen. The deep-seated belief changes the tempo of the mind or thought frequency and like a huge magnet draws the subconscious forces into play, changing your whole aura and affecting everything about you and often people and objects at great distances. The subtle force of repeated suggestion overcomes our reason acting directly on our emotions and our feelings, and finally, penetrating to the very depths of our subconscious minds. Every person is a creation of himself, the image of his own thinking and believing. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. The subconscious mind always brings to reality what it is led to believe. Some of our fears become realities through our imaginations. Never forget that the subconscious mind will accept and carry out whatever it is powerfully instructed to do. It's the constant and determined effort that breaks down all resistance, sweeps away all obstacles. Faith without action is dead. Everything on the material plane is first an idea, a thought in someone's mind. If you do not follow your own thoughts, then you will follow the thoughts of the fellow who followed his. If you can convince yourself, you can convince the other fellow. A man need not be a student of psychology to know that enthusiasm is very contagious and can readily be transmuted to others if one is bursting with it. Whether we know it or not, we're all engaged in selling something, if not our wares, then our personalities, our services, our ideas. Use the mirror technique. As you stand before the mirror, keep telling yourself that you're going to be an outstanding success and that nothing in this world is going to stop you. Emerson wrote that every man carries in his eye the exact indication of his rank. It is said that if you act the part, you'll become the part. The only way to have a friend is to be one. Sincere compliments will always gain you friends, for most people are extremely susceptible to compliments. A person who desires riches must go to where riches are. If you want money, you've got to associate yourself with people who have it or who know how to make it. Man is here to the wisdom of the ages found within the covers of great books. No one has a monopoly on knowledge, and yet all we know that knowledge is power when put to use. There is no monopoly of thought power. Positive creative thought leads to action and ultimately realization, but the real power, much more than action itself, is the thought. 
And that's wrapping this five-minute book summary. Remember, this free summary is made possible by my elite personal coaching program. So become the CEO of your life instead of the worker bee. Work with me privately over 12 weeks while we deep dive into an immersive, life-changing personal evolution coaching program. So connect with me now over Zoom using the link below. 15 minutes, let's jump on or directly email me at bestbookbits at gmail.com with the headline personal evolution and step into your next evolution now. Thanks for watching and listening. Have yourself an amazing day. Take care.